Yeah, hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will see how to write the first spec file using Jasmine. So in the previous video, we have seen how to install, how to set up the Jasmine in our project, in our calculator project we have seen it, right? Now we'll see how to write the test code, how to write the first unit testing using the Jasmine. So before writing the unit testing in Jasmine, so we need to know some of the file conventions or file extensions and all those things, some naming conventions we need to know. So before uh, before writing the unit test, we need to know some naming conventions. Let's try to see those naming conventions. So what are the things we need to follow for writing the unit test? Let's try to see. Here first we need to know that. So for which one we need to write the unit test. So here this is our calculator.js file. And this, this is the main core logic file for which the calculator program is implemented. In this calculator pro file, you will be having the, all the logic, something like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So all the logic so we have for the calculator is implemented in this calculator.js file. Now we need to implement this unit test for this calculator.js file. Now before implementing, so as I already told you, we need to know some of the naming conventions. So let's try to know about this one. So here is a small documentation for this one. So let's try to slide show the slide show here. So specs na file naming convention. Spec is nothing but our unit test file. So naming conventions we will let you know. In this video we will see some of the naming conventions for the spec files. So now in this video we will see some of the naming conventions for the spec file. So normally we will see different test file names in the different projects. So if you try to see different projects something like angular project or react project, view project, any project is there. So if you, if you try to see the test files for the uh, projects, different projects, you will be able to see that uh, file names will be different. So the different different names extensions file name extensions will be there for different types of projects. So let's try to see what are these things. So the common commonly if you try to see the different projects the commonly file name extensions you will try to find is something like star.spec.js and also star.test.js. So these two are the commonly in the JavaScript test files you will be able to see this is the naming convention for the front. So star where star is the file name and spec.js is the extension. So test.js is also the extension file name extensions so star.spec.js and star.test.js so these are the file name extensions normally you will see in the javascript projects so these are the common file extensions for the javascript unit test files we can think spec as an <coughs> exchangeable word for the text so now you will be able to get in doubt that what is the difference between spec and a test so spec is nothing but what I can say is it is a specification and test is nothing but the test. So we can think that spec and test is nothing but one and the same only. It's an exchangeable word for the test when it comes to the file naming convention. So when you are trying to keep the file naming convention something like star.spec.js, test.js. So these both words are exchangeable words when it comes to the file name, file naming thing. So both are one and the same only spec. Some people will name it as spec. Some people will call it as test. That's it. So both are one and the same only. So next one is dot js file extension. So we understood about the spec or test. Both are one and the same. We can you can give whatever name you want. You can give it. So dot js file extension. This one will be different for different languages. So if you understand that we are already aware of this one dot js file dot js means it's a JavaScript file. So for different languages are different things. So you, the extension will be different. So here what I can say is .js means it's a JavaScript file for the TypeScript uh, testing if you want to write means you can extend it with the you can write it with the .ts file right so this is commonly thing. Finally the unit testing file should be as so it will be written as unit testing file something like target file name dot spec dot js okay so this is the file name uh, at the last it should be we understood about the spec uh, the spec uh, so resembles it is a test file .js is the JavaScript extension. And that this one is a target file name is nothing but the file name. So what is this target file name? Now we need to understand that what is this target file name. So target file name is nothing but the source file for which we are writing the unit test. So the source file if you take the source file for that source file which we are writing the unit test. So we will, we will call it as target file name. So here for us the target file name is calculator.js file. So that means the our target file. Our target file will be test file should be in such a way that calculator.test.js. So that is the thing. So the target file name is nothing but the source file for which we are writing the unit test. 
In our case, it is calculator.js file. So therefore, the test file will be calculator.spec.js. So in our case, so in our project, simple calculator, the ca we are right. We we should write the unit test for the calculator.js file. So therefore, the test file will be calculator.spec.js file. Now we got the file name, and now we need to define the suits in the spec file name. So here, so we understood how to give the name file name for a test file. So we understood how to give the file name for a spec file, and also we have understood we have understood the each part of the file name. <clears throat> now we understood the file name, so we have got the file name, what to name, and now we need to define the suits in the spec file. So what is this suit? So now you need to understand what is this suit. A suit is simply a group of specs. Also, we can say it as group of tests. So a suit is nothing but what I can say is it is a group of specs. So as we already as I already told you that specs is nothing but it is a test. So they also we can say it as a group of tests. So if you are having a group of tests and you can simply name it as a suit. So you can make it as a suit. So this is nothing but a suit is nothing but a group of tests. If you have a lot of tests, you will group them, and that group is called as a suit. So, for example, you are having a lot of tests, and you can group all these things into a, into one place, and you can name that group as a suit. So, this is nothing but a suit. So, if you have a lot of tests, and you can group them, and you can, and that group is called as a suit. So, simply suit means it will let us organize our specs or tests. So, this is the thing you need to understand. So the suit is nothing but it will it will organize our specs or tests. So now we understood the suit. Let us create the first suit in the Jasmine. So now you understood the about the suit. So what is that one? So here we understood that suit is nothing but a set of a group of tests. So we understood that group of tests. So now let's try to define the suit and we let's try to create the suit and let's try to implement this one. Okay. So now, if you want to implement the suit in the project, so what we need to do first, we need to define the name of this. Uh, uh, first, we need to create the file name, spec file name. So what is the file name uh, can, uh, extension we need to create? So what for which one we are writing the unit test? We are write, we are trying to write the unit test for calculator.js file. So as we are writing the unit testing file, so it should be something like .spec.js or .test.js. Anything you can name it. And the target file name is the calculator. So let's try to create that calculator dot spec dot js. That's it. So now we have created a calculator dot spec dot js file. So this is our first unit test file. So now we need to write the test suit here. Okay, test suit. We need to implement the test suit here. So here suit means it's a combination or something like group of tests. So multiple tests. So combinedly we will call it as a suit. So in the next video, we will see how to create a suit and also how to create the test. Let's try to see it in the next video. Hope you understood about this uh, filing naming convention and also the suit uh, definition. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.